Hello, welcome back and thanks for clicking on this video. Today I will show you how I play 4 against darkness in a digital way, so you can see it is on my tablet, the PDF is downloaded, I will use only the core book so you can join me very quickly, and I already loaded the Google Roll Dice search term, which leads you to this web page, which is an instantly dice roller. What else will need? Here it is. I use Canva, but you can use any applications or any softwares on your uh, devices for create a character sheet. A character sheet can be in an Excel table, can be in notes. You don't need any graphical additions. You just have to have the name, the class, the level. So the basic sections uh, needed for For Against Darkness. I have these prepared character sheets. One is for the warrior type of characters and one other is for the magic users. Uh, the only difference is that there is a section for spells and scrolls on the second type of character sheets. All the other things are the same. What else do we need? Here are all the rooms cut and pasted to this one uh, page. So this is the preparation you will have to do because this is the way how we will how we can build the dungeon room by room, corridor by corridor. Just copy and paste and uh, and build the layout. So first of all, we need some characters. Let's uh, create some. Let's see who a warrior is. We will need a name for him. So uh, let's call him um, Bob. And I don't want to give surnames or any other uh, descriptions to these small characters. I won't give them uh, milestones or traits or any other things. Okay, Bob is a warrior who is level 1. He can be 20 years old, it's okay. He will need uh, some money. Let's check. The starting wealth of the warrior is uh, 2d6 gold pieces. So, okay, I have 1d6, now I have 2d6 and let's roll. Okay, five gold pieces is the starting wealth of Bob, our warrior character, so I just put it here. Okay, what about the life of Bob? Bob is a warrior, so warrior's life has six plus level. The first level warriors has seven life. Okay, so let's put it here, seven health points or life as we call it here. Uh, Bob doesn't have any skill yet. So I just delete it from here and let's see the starting equipment. A warrior begins the game with light armor, shield and a hand weapon. He may trade in his shield and hand weapon for a two-handed weapon or a bow if he wants. Um, I think as uh, he is the one leading the party, uh, he will need a sword, a one-handed weapon, okay, and uh, he will need a shield so I don't want to trade in for a two-handed weapon. And uh, it's said that we have a light armor, so let's put it here. We have, um, call it leather armor. And I already know that the light armor has plus one bonus for defense. I will know that an armor is good for defense and not for attack, so I just add the plus one here. And the shield uh, also gives a plus one bonus for defense. Okay, what else we have? We should have some attack bonuses as the trait of the warrior is uh, he's always, he always adds his level to his attack rolls. Okay, so the attack is with plus level. Okay, we don't have any more uh, bonuses for defense, we don't have any other skills, so that's it. Basically, our warrior is ready. Let's create a rogue. Okay, level one, let's call him um, Paul. Paul the rogue. The starting wealth is 3d6 gold pieces, so I add one more d6 and uh, it's 9. Okay, and the uh, life is uh, first level rogue has 4 life, so 9 gold pieces and 4 life. Let's check the traits of the rogue. A rogue adds his level on rolls to disarm traps, so we have a skill here. Disarming traps with plus level 
okay what else do we have do not forget about this so plus level to the defense rolls and plus level to the attacks when outnumbered oh it's a bit long so okay i will understand if i just put outnumbered here okay let's talk about the starting equipment rope lock picks light armor and a light hand weapon okay i think paul the rogue is ready let's talk about our cleric because we will need a healer so we have bob we have paul here we will have a cleric let's call her lenina she will be a cleric level one 20 years old it's okay starting boss is a d6 gold pieces and life is five okay so we need d6 four gold pieces and five life so four gold pieces and five life points five max and five actual okay what are the traits of the cleric cleric adds half of his level rounded down to his attack rolls and adds his full level when he attacks undead creatures okay so we will have two type of bonuses one is uh plus l half this is the normal and the other one is plus l so plus level versus undead creatures okay we have the attack traits uh armor weapon spells oh spells yeah three blessings and three healings what we need here what are the starting equipments uh, for a cleric light armor shield hand weapon the cleric may trade in his shield and hand weapon for a two-handed weapon clerics usually prefer cushing weapons because of skeletons okay i will put a two-handed mace to her hands which gives her a plus one i copy it to the left hand too because uh, it is a two-handed weapon and we also have an armor i just copy the leather armor from paul it will be great for lenina too okay and we need a force character so we have a warrior in first place we have a rogue in second place we have a cleric in third place and um, who else we need i think i will go with the wizard okay bob paul lenina and we will have a wizard here crystal who is level one who can be 20 years old and i remember that the life points of wizard is really really low yes three life but the starting wealth is four d6 so 13 gold pieces okay 13 gold pieces and three actual life and three maximum life let's uh, check the traits the wizard adds his level only when attacking with spells including spells cast from scrolls or on rows to solve puzzles or riddles i will put here plus level okay what are the starting equipment light hand weapon spell book and writing implements okay a light hand weapon meaning mm, it can be a dagger it is light so attacking on minus one nothing in a left hand let's note the spell book and the writing implements spell book writing implements we won't use it uh, uh, separately so i can put it to one line okay and now let's talk about the spells a wizard begins the game with two spells plus one spell per level so a first level wizard has three spells okay so two plus level 
I will put it here as a node to plus the levels so we will know to add one when uh, crystal will level up okay the wizard must decide which spells he or she has prepared before starting the adventure I will go with one fireball and one sleep definitely and as we can have three uh, different spells I think uh, the fireball will uh, happen twice so crystal's first spell is fireball a fireball again okay and the third spell is the sleep I can uh, do this like this so just uh, put the fireball to one row with two trackers and uh, it will help me with the space to have enough room for typing okay and actually our party is ready we have Bob the warrior we have Paul the rogue we have Lenina the cleric and Crystal the wizard what else do we need Paul will be the lantern bearer. I just have to check what is the price of the lantern. A lantern is uh, four gold pieces. Okay, paid by Paul. And now he has a lantern. And now our team is ready to go. Uh, of course, we can pimp uh, the character sheets. We can give them uh, pictures. Uh, I will do it before the first session, before we will go down to the dungeon.